I knew this guy when he played. He's going to be a manager one day in the big leagues. He's the manager for the Yankees AAA team in scranton Wilkesbury, and that is Shelly Duncan, and we want to talk to Shelly, get a, an in-depth um, scouting report on what we're going to get from Everson Pereira, and Shelly joins us now. Shelly, it's Michael and Peter. How you doing, my friend? I'm doing outstanding. How are you doing, Michael? I'm doing very, very well. Miss seeing your face. Hopefully, we'll see each other soon. And tell me about Everson Pereira. What, 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 what's he good at? What are the things he has to work on? What are the Yankees getting with Pereira? Everson Pereira made a huge impression on me. His first game up here in AAA. Uh, it was um, his first at bat. Big at bat. Uh, long three-two count. Fouled off a bunch of pitches. Uh, runners in scoring position, uh, got a fastball late in that at bat, and drove a homer to the right center field. And from that moment on, watching him make an adjustment, mid at bat, deepen up the contact zone, that was a, it was a big league at bat right there. So he set the bar extremely high for me. Uh, he's everything that a uh, club needs uh, to throw in the middle lineup, make that lineup longer. And it was a lot of fun. It was, it was a lot of fun being able to uh, put him in the two and three hole for me, for our team and uh, watch him have some success down here and then be able to uh, send him up to New York. All right, so, Shelly, how do you think his skills translate to this level? Is he going to struggle at first, or you think that they translate well? He, he, he does translate well, and um, I think the biggest reason is his adaptability. He's going to learn quickly up there uh, when he do you have success. He's going to learn quickly uh, uh, how to game plan against those pitchers, what they're doing to him, what he needs to do. Um, his swing is tailor-made. He's able to hit anything. Uh, he can hit guys with ride. He can get hit guys with sink and run. Uh, he can hit breaking balls when he needs to. He can have good two-strike at-bats. Uh, he's adaptable. Um, he's, he's got everything that you need in the hitter to have success. Uh, it's, I think it's unfair to you know, jump up and say the guy's going to have immediate success right away because you know, usually with young guys, there is a transition phase. And, you know, a lot of that is that mental side of things, getting comfortable with the team, uh, the environment, uh, the atmosphere. When things really start to slow down, you start to see the best version of these guys. And, you know, I'm sure he's playing with a lot of emotions right now, which is fun, probably going to bring out the best in him. But um, when he gets into a groove, I think that's when we're really going to see the best version of Everson Guerrero. And I, I expect great things from this guy. He's a... He's a lot of fun to watch. All right, let's talk about Peraza. Obviously, we saw him last year. He started two games in the ALCS. Um, obviously, he's an outstanding fielder. Uh, how about his offense, Shelley? What did you see from him? He's been making some swing, uh, some swing changes down here. He uh, wants to do some things with his swing where he can get inside some balls a lot better, get into his uh, backside better, drive it to right center, um, be able to have that all fields power and he's been putting in a lot of work with uh, trevor amicone down here and they've been doing some really good things so over the course of the season during his time down here seen a lot of growth in this guy offensively um on the bases he's man he, he, he's fast he can he can steal he can do everything you need there defensively he's like a human highlight reel that second short and third um his leadership skills have improved from day one he's uh, been more active with our team he's uh his baseball instincts have improved, and um, for everything that a player goes through when he goes up and down, you, you can um, sometimes expect guys not to handle it too well. He's handled it like a pro, and he's been driven from the moment he's been down here, and he's wanted to make himself better. He's wanted to make himself a player that is never be regular, and he's another guy. I say the same thing about Everson, but he's another guy that I've had a lot of fun watching him develop down here, and and the pleasure of putting him in the lineup as well. So well, with Shelly well, Duncan, the manager of the AAA Yankees affiliate in Scranton. I'm sorry, Peter. No, no, thank you. Shelly, i got to ask you, though. Spe this, speaking of people you've gotten to see develop a lot, someone you've only gotten to see for a moment but made quite an impression, Jason Dominguez. Uh, tell us what you saw yesterday. Oh, man. Three hits uh, right out of the get-go. Um, this guy's exciting. The moment he walked in the clubhouse, he brought some energy. A huge smile on his face. Everybody was excited to see him out there. Uh, threw him out in center field, batting second, and um, his first two at-bats, he swung at the first pitch, hit Rockets right at the second baseman. The third at-bat, smokes a line off the wall, and it, it seemed like that's when it started. Um, it, we just got a taste of this guy, and just watching him out there, the energy he brings, the talent he has, uh, it's, it's, it's a very another, another promising guy that 
you know, is uh, we're, we're happy to have down here. And shoot, I can't tell you how excited we are. All right, before I let you go, another guy that Aaron Boone said yesterday is on the radar is Austin Wells. What do you see from Wells? Everybody that I talk to, Shelly, tells me he can hit right now in the big leagues. Defense a work in progress. So you, you see him every day. What's your take? He's got he's got big league uh, capability to play behind the plate and uh, to be a good offensive hitter. Uh, I think consistency is the number one thing, Michael. Um, especially when you have a guy behind the plate, you you got to be dialed in every single pitch of a game, uh, game after game after game, and um, that's one of the uh, I think it's one of the hardest things to develop for a young young player, and that's where we're at. We show flash. Um, but it's not there every single pitch. But I can tell you that it's getting better, and he is close. He's right on the doorstep. Um, he threw out a runner last night, uh, had a great game behind the plate. Um, he'll have one you know, bad game here or there, but he's going right back at it again. And those, are, those bad games are very – they're starting to get more rare and rare. And uh, I'm excited about his development. Uh, he is right on the doorstep, and you know, Booney's right. Like you can't expect him to be up there, and and when he gets up there, I, I'm going to be happy for him to uh, get his feet wet up there and get comfortable, and you know, catch those pitchers, uh, you know, get some comfort at the plate. And he's a he's another guy that really adds a presence in the lineup as well. Shelly, I know you've got a busy day, and you carved out some time for us. Thank you so much for joining us and giving us some uh, intel on on the youngsters that the Yankees are seeing right now. All right. Thank you, Michael. You got it. That's Shelly Duncan, the 80s AAA manager at Scranton-Wilkes-Barre.